none other better qualified right now than to be the mayor of Atlantic City than Marty Small. That's right. And I can say that since 2002 being on city council. The youngest, but my point being is, is that Marty's heart is in the right place. And if his heart wasn't in the right place, you wouldn't be here. And if you didn't think Marty could move Atlantic City to the next plateau, you wouldn't be here. A leader with fresh ideas, someone who's been somewhere else and seen other things, and looking to bring all the skills that I've learned and all the things that I've learned back home because we need change. Uh, Marty was sometimes temperamental. Sometimes I had to jump on him, and he would try to fight me back. But uh, it was good times, and and I wasn't there for him all the time. But when the times that that was needed, there was wisdom given. But the man that you see was not just touched by his atmosphere or his environment, but I believe he was called and ordained by God for such a time as this. Uh, I have the pleasure of uh, knowing Marty Small for many years, from a big head little 10 year old boy that I first met. The little, oh, that's, <laughs> Marty always would tell me he was from VAC. And I said, no Marty, you was from the low side of Virginia Avenue. But to no avail, Marty, I've watched Marty grow. Marty has grown into a fine young man. I mean, someone that I can be actually proud of. As Reverend Wong said, he's grown to be a father a great husband, and also a great person for this city. Marty Small has been involved in politics for over 16 years, and I have never been directly involved in any of his elections or campaigns. This election is different. I wholeheartedly support his candidacy. Marty is ready. Eight years ago, he ran. I said, I'm not sure if you should do it. But again, we tell our students every day, live your dreams. I watch Marty not sell out the city. And I watch Marty stick with the five of us so we could represent this city. So if you want good leadership and you want a good team, you need to vote for Marty Smalls. You need and you all know there's not one time that you ask him to do anything for you, he didn't. He represents the seniors, he represents the young people, he represents all of Atlantic City. It's his time. To work, Marty Small will be a mayor that will make sure that those people every day to catch two buses to try to keep food on the table for their families. Marty Small is a man, I believe, that understands that the working poor go to work every day just trying to make ends meet. Marty understands the senior citizen who sits on fixed income try to stay in their house in Atlantic City when the big boys in Trenton done every damn thing they can to run us out. If you don't know your, your true purpose, then abuse is inedible. Uh, Marty has been through a lot to get to this point. The, the state, the county, the city all have dragged him through the mud. But yet I still see a man standing by the content of his character. So, Marty, I love you, man. I've seen you grow so much that I can actually say I'm proud of you, man. I'm proud of you. Marty has stood up to fight this state. This is a dream of his. I'm supporting you. You have my support 100%. Your family is behind you. You are ready. This Team Small for Atlantic City to make it better. None of these guys you had to look for, they've always been there for you. Thank so you. when it's all said and done, you can say that you was a part of the victory to continue to move Atlantic City forward. Are you ready? Yeah. Who gonna win? I am really appreciative to know that he is the man that God has called me. Not only that, but he's a great father and a great husband. He has, he has become what he's supposed to be, a man of character, Marty Small. God bless you. Yeah. And Marty and I have often been on the other side of the fence, but we never let politics, that's what I call it, not politics, it's politics, come between us. Our friendship has always remained the same. And this particular time, I am glad and I am honored and I am privileged that I can give my wholehearted commitment to Marty Small this time. I just have I to say I'm here because I love him, I support him, and I appreciate your support, and we're just asking you to get out the vote. Tell your friends, tell your family, we want to win. And at this time, I would like to introduce the next mayor of Atlantic City, Marty Small. But i like to thank everyone out here uh, for my family, uh, first and foremost. Um, I try not to get emotional, but... My mom would be so proud.
my grandmother, my great aunt. But I got my aunts and uncles here, my sister. Um, the love of my life, uh, my two children. And being in public service is not easy. You can't make people happy all the time. Sometimes the picture ain't, it, it, it doesn't look as it's painted. You know, people don't know your situation. They don't know your personal sacrifice. They don't know the things that you've been through. That's right. And I just want everybody here to know, listen, I'm just like you. That's right. I'm yeah. born and raised in Atlantic City. Tell story. Forget what Mr. Banks say, I'm from VAC. <laughs> but in all seriousness, like I said, I'm one of you. I went to the same schools you went to, went to the same church you went to. It's, it's, it's important that, you know, people see you aspire high, they see you in positions and think that you forgot where you came from. I didn't do that. And I know some people want to criticize because I've held various public positions and, you know, of taxpayers' money. But I earned every damn dime of the taxpayers' money on every job that I had. I went above and behind. I've done some things to help people. I'm, I'm human. And that's the point that we want to drive home. While a lot of people live in Atlantic City, it's good to make money here. It's good to play here. But they don't want to live here. I built my dream home in the same neighborhood that I grew up in. When someone wants to come in here and take, 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 from the people that put us in office, if you don't fight and stand up, you don't belong there. And there's some people on city council who don't belong there, and on June 6th, we're gonna make sure that we clean house and that we put the people that are really for Atlantic City on city council. Listen, people can say what they wanna say, but it's mighty funny that all of a sudden during election time, you see people getting active or holidays, but they can say that they wasn't for the state takeover. They can say all these things, but guess what? Their votes and their actions say otherwise. And I'm just proud that I stood up. That's my makeup. I've been a fighter my whole life. Growing up on Virginia Avenue in a house with eight women, living, living in one of the most dangerous neighborhoods at the time. But it was a lot of love in that neighborhood. And that's how we gotta get the city of Atlantic City back. There was a time where you can get three beatings before you got home to get your fourth. The, the times aren't like that now. This election is more important than ever. You need a proven fighter, someone that will stand up. And I'm gonna just say a quote by former mayor Lorenzo Langford. And I wholeheartedly agree with that. He said in politics, there's no such things as permanent enemies. Permanent friends is just permanent interest. And I'm gonna extend the olive branch to the people who want to do good business here in the city of Atlantic City. If we have a permanent interest together and your interest is helping Atlantic City, I'm going to support you. If you come in here trying to bully Atlantic City, I'm going to block you. And I'm going to do everything that I can. We know the finances of the city. That's first and foremost. I was a part of the plan. Lower taxes for five straight years, lowering the budget, and being weaned off of state aid. We did that. And we're going to make sure that we bring stability back to the city of Atlantic City. We need to bring the middle class back to diversify our tax base. There's no reason that we can't bring the program that Creta started that had the police and fire staying here in Atlantic City and giving them rebates on their mortgages. We need to expand that to professionals, teachers, and other professions. And the quota politician, we're going to do it, and I'm going to make Creta pay for it. There's no candidate in the race that has gotten the people of Atlantic City, more jobs or more careers. I pledge, just like I said about the younger people, Bruce Weeks, it's no reason why someone like that and others have to come back from college and struggle to get a job when they're qualified. We're gonna bring up the young people here in the city of Atlantic City. We need to bring the minority businesses back to the north side and other areas of the city. That was the foundation of Atlantic City, but we have lost our way. We will partner with Creator. We will partner with the federal government. We will partner with everyone to give everyone an equal opportunity because it basically makes our community better. Atlantic City, 
It's sad when I drive in town now and I look up there and I see the Jersey Shore entertainment capital of the world. That's not Atlantic City. We got to get back to those days where it's a multitude of activities, not just for the tourists, but for the people that live here and call Atlantic City home. I pledge to return government back to the people. I take pride in being from Atlantic City. I, I love this city. I've sacrificed. And together, we will make Atlantic City the best possible city that it can be. And understand something. Atlantic City's problems may be big, but the solution is small. God bless you. Max out, what up? Big ticket. I ain't talking about Garnett, man. Small for mayor, council at large, weeks. The real Fort Leroy. And my man, Mr. Kaysen. Let us know, Brandy, why you support Marty Smalls in this minute. I just feel like now's the time for Mario to step up and um and lead our city to where we need to be and get us out of this hole that we're in right now. And I feel Marty's the first one to do it. You heard it first from Grant, you see all the reality. Marty Small for mayor, he's a man that's committed to Atlantic City, committed to the community, the people. He's a father, a husband, and a public servant that's going to put Atlantic City first and move the city forward. Best man for the job. I came, I came a long way just to support Marty Small and help him win this election, so looking forward to it. Over there on my right. Atlantic City is poised for a comeback. There's no better person that I can think of to lead this recovery than Marty Small. Marty Small is a true Atlantic City citizen, organic to the community. Anybody that's from here, lives here, they know what Marty Small represents. They may not always agree with where he stands, but he's always fighting for the residents of Atlantic City. And that's what he's going to take to the mayor's office. And we'll all be proud when Marty Small becomes mayor soon. The headquarters, 1332 Atlantic Avenue, the old Yardies, we took over, is, is the Marty Small and Company headquarters, HQ. Now, you know, the announcement, the public announcement was today, congratulations to the entire ticket, you know what I mean, this is a championship, this is looking like the dream team, you know what I mean, it's looking real good out here for the city, man. There's a lot of things that we have to do, and it takes great leadership. So I have this beautiful young lady, you know what I mean? Besides the obvious reason why you rock with the team, because her pops, Derek K. Sign, is on a ticket. You know what I mean? A great dude. You know what I mean? Great dude. Been in the community as long as I've been alive. You understand now? Why are you going for Team Small? I feel like our city needs a change. We need to be more geared towards the youth. Um, there's not enough going on for our youth, um, so it's time for us to step up and we all need to come together and I think this is the ticket. Yeah, no, Thanks, baby. Big ticket, and I ain't talking Garnett. You heard, you heard it first. AC finest, bringing the right team. First of all, I'd like to thank everybody for braving the cold elements, uh, coming out and supporting not only myself for mayor, but the team, small council, which is Derek K. Sign, Bruce Weeks, and Garnett, Coach Lamont, Father Boy. This is very exciting. Uh, we're going to bring a fresh new program to the city of Atlantic City, something that hasn't been seen before. Um, listen, I've I, I waited wait a lot of time for this moment. My life experiences have gotten me here. And with the help of the people of Atlantic City, who they know I'm for, uh, you know, we're going to get this done. And we don't take anything for granted. June 6th is an important day. Tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a friend. You know, vote for both Team Small. You know, and, and one thing I failed to mention that in my speech I talked about how much Atlantic City means to me. Remember this. I'm Atlantic City born, I'm Atlantic City bred, and when I die, I'm going to be Atlantic City big. And lastly, Atlantic City's problems are big. 
the solution this morning. Talking that bad team, man. You heard it first, man. Max out here. We chase dreams, LLC. You already know, man. Atlantic City. We about the town, man. Support local, make this move.